while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. It said his feet was like fine brass. You know what brass is? It's brown. So the Bible said that Jesus' skin color was brown. But watch out, what color is your skin? What you say? The Bible says Jesus Christ has skin color just like yours. Right. And if they burned, it ain't burning. But he had that dark, dark skin brown. That dark, dark skin brown. Just like you. So when you read the Bible, you hear somebody talk about Jesus. Excuse me. This is not Jesus Christ. That's the devil that the Bible speaks of. This is what the Bible says Jesus looks like. Just like you. You understand me? Solomon, what's bro name? What's your name? Justin, you see him as your brother? Keep it a buck with me, you see him as your brother? You, you realize this is family. The reason why we're so disconnected from the church is because we don't have this. Bring it out! Let, what's the nationality, bro? You don't got one, check this out. Give me Isaiah 1 and 3. What's yours? My, he an Israelite, Francisco. What's your nationality? Mexican, that's just a place, not a people. Watch this, what's your nationality? Black, that's just a color. So watch this. Hey sister, what's your name? Nationality Who? or ethnicity, right? Elena, what's your race? Black? Okay, so check this out. Jimmy said black, you say black. He don't know, he is ethnicity, a like. Ethnicity, ethnicity, race. Okay, what's your race? It's different. Okay, what's your race? Latino. Latino, that's a language. It's not a race, check this out. Watch what the Bible say. Why is there so much confusion on who we are? Because sister, Elena, you see him as, as your brother? Jimmy, you see her as your sister? So why are we giving different nationalities and races? Watch what the Bible say. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. Hey, sis, stay and let the babies hear this. Hey, bro, y'all stay and let the kids hear this. The Bible says what? The ox knows his owner. So check this out, bro. It says the ox know who its owner is. The ox is a stubborn animal, but it knows who its owner is. Read. And the ass his master's crib. A donkey. Check this out, Jimmy. Check this out. God said the ox knows his owner, and the donkey knows where his home is at. You can take a donkey two miles down the road, and it know how to wander on back home. But watch this. But Israel. But who? But Israel. When you look on the sign, hey, bro, right here. What's your name again? Justin. The Bible says because Israel, that's the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American. If you were so-called Haitian, so-called Jamaican, so-called Puerto Rican, so-called Mexican, Dominican, you are an Israelite according to the Bible. Hey, that's Zeph, right. Zeph, Zeph, excuse me. I'm trying to talk about you. are an Israelite according to the Bible. Because the action you say you don't know. I'm telling you what you are. Watch what God said because what you did is you just fulfilled prophecy, Justin, and you don't even know it. Watch what God said what happened in the future. Read. But Israel does not know. But Israel what? Does not know. What the Bible said about Israel? Does not know. When I asked you your race, you said you ain't got one. You know why? Because the Bible says in the future the Israelites wouldn't know their race. We wouldn't know our identity. My sister, you had a question? Give me our Revelation 114. Bear with me, Justin. Because when we out here doing, hey, this is the little baby right here. This is your son. Let him see. Let him see this. Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 of verse 14. Watch what the Bible say. So what we're doing, Justin, is we're showing you Christ was the greatest man that ever walked this earth, was a real man. Come from the Middle East. I see you got that charm on. We don't come from Africa. You know what your homeland is? Jerusalem. They took that land from us. They put us in slavery and they took our identity. We are the real Jews that you read about in the Bible. Not Jewish. Your real identity is a Jew. Jerusalem, that's your homeland. That's Brother Yah, that's Lee. That's our Brother Jimmy. That's our homeland. Check this out, read. His head and his hair. Watch this, what's your name, little bro? Hey, watch this, y'all. This is what greatness is. What you say? Watch what we about to read. Jesus Christ was the greatest man to walk the earth. Watch what the Bible say about Jesus. Read. His head and his hair were white like wool. So Jesus Christ, he had woolly hair. I want you to do this. That's the kind of hair that Christ had. Woolly in texture. They right. call it nappy. It ain't nappy. That's the hair that Christ had. Watch this. As white as snow. But his was white. Or some older brothers got the gray hair. Read. In his eyes. In Christ's eyes. Where the flame of fire. Where as a flame of fire. 
They were red because he drunk wine a little bit. But watch this. Read. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. Hey, little bro, is your feet the same color as your arms? They the same color. So watch what it says about Jesus again. And his feet. It says, and Jesus Christ's feet because he had on sandals. Watch. Like unto fine brass. It said his feet was like fine brass. You know what brass is? It's brown. So the Bible said that Jesus' skin color was brown. But watch out. What color is your skin? Brown. What you say? Brown. The Bible says Jesus Christ has skin color just like yours. Brown. As if they burned in a furnace. But he had that dark, dark skin brown. That dark, dark skin brown. Just like you. So when you read the Bible, you hear somebody talk about Jesus' skin. This is not Jesus Christ. That's the devil that the Bible speaks of. This is what the Bible says Jesus looks like, just like you. You understand me? So start carrying yourself. Give me uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10. And that's what we out here to do. That's what you need to be over here doing. Hey, Lee, this is what you need to be over here doing. Francisco, y'all need to be over here doing, waking our people up. Let me ask you a question. Do y'all think that y'all done anything to help destroy the community a little bit? Just be honest with each other. Exit. So when we going away from this, we destroy something, right? Just being honest. So guess what? You owe God now. Now you gotta save somebody. Just like we're trying to save the baby. It's on you to try to save the next one. Read. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 1 and verse 10. Now I beseech you, brother, by the name of our Lord. Follow me as I follow Christ. What you say? Follow me as I follow Christ. 1 Corinthians 11 and 1. 11 and 1, excuse me. 11 and 1. So what we're trying to do is show our people. Jesus Christ was the greatest man to walk the earth, and he looked like us. He looked like us, but the world like to tell us that black is disgusting, black is evil, black is wrong. What they say, no gusto negro, no gusto negro. Ain't that what they say, right? But guess what? You see us as your brother, not you, but you see us as your brother, right? That's what we gotta get back to. We gotta get back to making the family great again. Read. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse one. Watch this. Be ye followers of me. So the Paul said, guess who Paul's speaking about? Paul is gonna speak about someone. So Paul says to his people, follow me, read. Even as I also am of Christ. As we follow Christ. We got to get back to our true identity as the Israelites and sons of God. We got to get back to ruling in righteousness. We got to put the cigarettes down. We got to stop the sin. Is this your wife? Y'all married? You got to get the papers and marry the sister, bro. That's how we make our nation great again. By being an example to our people. You understand? You with me, my brother. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is